The Lord has risen to the dead as he said. Let us exalt and rejoice, for he reigns for all eternity. Alleluia. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to our lasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Amen. And on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty power. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. For you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose gift, blessed you, preserved in imitating Christ, persevered in imitating Christ, poor and lowly, Grant that through his intercession, that faithfully walking in our own vocation, we may reach the perfection you have set before us in your Son. O God, who give constant increase to your church by new offspring, grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, You who are Jews, indeed all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to my word. You who are children of Israel, hear these words. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commended to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs, which God worked through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This man, delivered up by the set plan and foreknowledge of God, you killed, using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death, because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart has been glad and my tongue has exalted. My flesh too will dwell in hope because you will not abandon my soul to the nether world, nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David that he died and was buried, and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn an oath to him that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, 
he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the netherworld, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised this Jesus, of this we are all witnesses. Exalted at the right hand of God, he poured forth the promise of the Holy Spirit that he received from the Father, as you both see and hear. The word of the Lord. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord, are you? O Lord, my allotted portion in my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. Keep me safe, O God, you are my I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep, Keep me safe, O oh God, you are my hope. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body, too, abides in confidence because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will show me the path to life. Fullness of joy is in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce the news to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priest all that had happened. The chief priest assembled the, with the elders and took counsel. Then they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You are to say, His disciples came by night and stole him while we were asleep. And if this gets to the ears of the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. The soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story is circulated, has circulated among the Jews to the present day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, as we celebrate the act of Easter, or continue the act of Easter, we're reminded of the two ways that the society is saying that our Lord was grabbed and taken out of the tomb and kept away so that people might see an empty tomb. While the Lord is saying to Mary Magdalene, do not hold on to me. Do not grasp me at this moment. I have not yet ascended to my Father. 
And for us, that is the way of the Lord, that there is that control, that his resurrection was not something forced upon him, that was not something that was grabbed or taken away from the tomb, but something that our Lord entered into freely, so that we might enter into life in the Lord freely as well. Today on April 1st, we also celebrate the feast day of St. Hugh. And in the life of St. Hugh, though in hardships of saying, you must be bishop, though he wanted to stay as a monk, you must do this or that, but it was something that he was, in his great humility, was able to enter into freely because of the Lord, knowing that the Lord is with him, helping him, and by his side. In a similar way, as we go through life, we need to be able to have that resolve to say, Lord, I will go through this freely with you at my side. Oftentimes it's difficult when we have hardships, but the Lord has told us, this is what you are dealing with right now. This is for you at this time. Whether it is, okay, I guess the Lord wants me to be sick today, and so I am sick. The Lord might wants me to worry about this person, and so I worry about them, but then also turn them over to the Lord. Or I'm struggling with this, okay, the Lord wants me to struggle with this at this moment, and also, of course, transfer it over to the Lord. And in that way, we're realizing that we're able to accept things freely from the Lord and also have that great ability to lift them up to the Lord as well. That we are grabbing and grasping, we're receiving as we receive the risen Lord during this octave and throughout the season of Easter. So let's continue to receive all those great blessings and gifts from the Lord as St. Hugh did and all the other saints, knowing what the Lord has to give us in life and in the life to come. My dear sisters and brothers, accept graciously, O Lord, excuse me, knowing that the Lord hears us, let's offer our Lord our prayers and petitions. With great joy during the first days of this Easter season, let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Father. That are newly baptized and confirmed, may they be filled with Easter joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our church, as we embark anew as people of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are in need of courage to do and speak righteousness, may they be filled with the fortitude of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who do not believe in Jesus, may our witness open them to see faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and those who are suffering, may the powerful joy of this season fill them with hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Let us pray for the healing of John Lysant the Fourth. Let us pray for Eugene and Joanne Kosala, and for peace in our world, especially in Ukraine and in the Middle East. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have fallen asleep in Christ, may they be rejoicing in Him who has defeated death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for your own intentions. For the end of abortion in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the beautiful services you gave us this, these um, holy days and for Easter, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For these prayers and those in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, Jesus has risen from the dead, and all the earth is rejoicing. Hear our prayers as we exalt him who lives and reigns with you for all eternity.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your peoples, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may obtain an ending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all, to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, we come with paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers of the angelic host sing together the inending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which offer firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant your peace to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all those holding to the truth, and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you to the sacrifice of praise who offer for themselves and all who are dear to them. For the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being. And paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh. And commune with those whose memory we venerate. Especially the glories of our Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. And blessed Joseph, her spouse. Your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter, Paul, and Andrew. James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, our family, Matthew, Simon, and Jude. Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damon, and all your saints. We ask that through the merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you also for those to whom you've been pleased to give the new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins. Order our days in your peace and command that we may be delivered from eternal damnation and count them on the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. With his eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection of the dead, and glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angels, your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray in all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant them share in fellowship with their holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, Hugh, St. Paul the Sixth, and all the saints. Admit us, we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. And not in our sins by the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Mm -hmm. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Amen, I say to you, that you who have left all and followed me will receive a hundredfold and possess eternal life. Christ, having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. Let us pray. <clears throat> may the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have sent on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
And just as a special note, we've been using the chalice from um, St. Hugh's 75th anniversary. So we might, we'll probably continue to use that during the Easter season. By the power of your sacrament, Lord, we pray, lead us always in your love, through the example of blessed Hugh, and bring to fulfillment the good news we have begun in the, you have begun in us until the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Amen. Amen. Just pay a Hail Mary from the knees of our church, of our world, and of our community. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Just pay a prayer to our Mother of Mothers, which is on the front page of the Gather Book in the blue section. Mother of Mothers, Holy Queen, chosen before all women to be the Mother of the Son of God. Mary, my mother, who in your maternity have so sacred high the state of Holy Mother of Earth, implore thee I come to you, humbly I beseech you, confidently I trust in you. I know that you can, by your all powerful intercession, help me in my name. In you I take refuge, dear Virgin, who are in needy, I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in your hands. Betray not my humble trust. But hear my petitions and come to my aid, dear Mother of Mothers. Amen. Mother of